Hello everyone, I'm Arjun Agarwal and this is the IoT controlled smart home appliances. So this could be controlled using our voice, uh, using uh, smart ass assistant and, uh, and also by our phones. Um, so let's see. Alexa, turn on LED one. Okay. Alexa, turn on LED two. Okay. As you can see, it could control multiple appliances simultaneously. Alexa, turn off LED one. Okay. Alexa, turn off LED two. Okay. Um, we could also control it by our phones like this. Now here um, I have also controlled a fan. So Alexa, turn on fan. Okay. Alexa, set fan speed to hundred percent. Okay. So here now the fan is faster. Alexa, turn off the fan. Okay. And we could also control it using the dashboard. Here we can control the speed. From here. And uh, now I'll turn it off. Now it's off. So apart from this, um, it could also control other things too. Like um, now, I will now I'll connect this charger. Now this is connected. Alexa, turn on charger. Okay. Here you can see the mobile is charging. Alexa, turn off charger. Okay. Now the charging is off. Alexa, turn on charger. Okay. Now it's charging. Uh, now you might be wondering that uh, this could now uh, this could not control high power appliances. I control very low power appliances. So now I'll bring a halogen. So this is a uh, halogen uh, which has two uh, of its bulbs working. The third one does not work. Uh, so one bulb is eight, uh, 400 watts. So the two are 800 watts. Now here at the spark plug I'll connect it. Now that it is connected, we can control it. Alexa, turn on smart plug. Okay. Now the halogen is on. And uh, here you can see uh, the 400 watts and 400 watts on this halogen are mentioned. Here, over here. 400 watts and 400 watts. So this is a total of 800 watts. So here in this uh, model, I have used the ESP32 along with the Arduino IoT Cloud uh, due to which uh, it uh, so the ES when I give any command to Alexa it sends the command to the uh, ESP32 Cloud and um, then that Cloud sends uh, the signal via Wi-Fi uh, so this needs to be connected to Wi-Fi uh, so that signal is then analyzed by the ESP32 which is basically the controller and the ESP32 according to the signal um, gives the command to the four relays I use four relays and one MOSFET the MOSFET is used to control this motor uh, since MOSFET uh, could be used to control the speed and all and uh, relays are used to control these appliances such as the halogen the, and the two LEDs and the charger Alexa turn on, char uh, turn on charger okay Alexa, turn on LED one. Okay. So uh, the Alexa sends it to the cloud. The cloud sends it to the ESP32. ESP32 analyzes and it sends the signal to the fan or the charger or the halogen uh, uh, or the fan uh, using uh, 
transistors or MOSFETs and uh, relays. Uh, so this is basically the system. Now if I show you the internal wiring. So this is the internal wiring and here um, if uh, you zoom in closer uh, from the top um, you will see that there is a MOSFET. Here you can see there is a small MOSFET over there. Uh, for to show that I will have to turn off the power. Otherwise I will get shocked. So here I have the MOSFET. So this is the MOSFET over here which controls the this is the MOSFET over here which controls the system. The fan and the blue thing here this uh, these are the relays which control the um, appliances such as this charger over here and uh, this smart plug uh, these two bulbs and the and and the um, and the fan is controlled using this 12 volt power supply um, which is sent to the mosfet i hope you liked my project thank you